All right, guys, we're here in our CFM, $3,200 uh, top prize, $120 buy-in. And uh, we're playing Derwin James, safety for the San Diego Chargers here, or excuse me, the Los Angeles Chargers. A little bit of a, uh, a mind slip right there, but we are playing him. It is our fourth week. We are currently 3-0. Let me go ahead and insert a clip, I think, after this of my team at the end of the gameplay. I am going to show you guys this gameplay, kind of walk you through what I'm thinking as we're playing the game, and hopefully we can pull out this dub and uh, start the season 4-0, man. So let's get after it. All right, so I'm using um, – I unfortunately got a very late pick. I think I had the 29th pick in our fantasy draft. So unfortunately, I do not have a um, – a mobile quarterback we have Matthew Stafford so we're gonna have to run the ball a lot it looks like right here he's in this two four five defense if he's in that two four five I really don't want to run anything with two wide receivers we're gonna have to be run heavy again just because I don't have a mobile quarterback and the sheds are pretty crazy in this mode so I'm gonna be running the ball a lot here try to mix in some passes once he starts committing more to it but yeah like I said to start the game we definitely want to establish the run we don't want to put ourselves in any positions where we're starting off you know on th second and 13 second and 14 is it for in situations where we have to pass and we have a very non-mobile quarterback with a very poor offensive line we are absolutely going to get screamed at so again just going to establish the run and see if we can make him respect our run game So right there, I actually think we had a pretty good lane. I forgot to make my subs right there. That was honestly just a uh, bit of a mind lapse right there. Re Devontae Freeman and Lamar Miller are my two running backs. I really want Freeman as my starting running back. He has that better agility. Agility, in my opinion, is very, very important if you are, in fact, um, if you are, in fact, running the ball because you want to be able to make those cuts. You want to be able to, you know, weave in between the blocks when you're hitting that O-line. So for that reason, I think it's very, very important. Right there, I kind of see what I, I kind of like that look on the on the right. Next time, I think I might try to go ahead and uh, pass the ball if he gives us that look one more time. I'd rather just, just try to again try to establish this run though. We are getting some pretty good yards here. The question is, is he gonna blitz again? I'm not sure. Actually, since he's in this look, I'm not I'm not positive he's gonna blitz here. I think he might actually be playing coverage. So what I'm gonna do right here is. Um, I'm gonna hit him with a uh, with a coverage beater. Right there, I actually threw it to the post, but the hitch ended up playing it anyway. Not the greatest user by him, to be honest. Um, he actually played all right defense. I think if he had a better user right there, he could have easily stopped this. All right, so I think based on the first series, he's probably going to expect us to go ahead and be very run-heavy on these first couple downs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to max pro right here and try to hit him over the top. Don't really know who his other DBs I should have looked are besides Derwin James back there. Yeah, see, that's the problem right there. We did have a touchdown wide up the middle, but Greedy Williams comes screaming off that edge. So, again, that was kind of what I was worried about uh, with playing that defense. He sent the corner super aggressive, so I think next time I might try to motion something out and see if we can. I might actually do it right here, see if we can get a motion out here, motion out this table route, and see if he blitzes that corner again. Oh, we have our tight end right there. Unfortunately, Nick Bosa goes crazy and sheds us. I think we're going to have to punt here. Um, you know, pretty good defense by him. Did have it wide open, but again, like I said earlier in the video, these sheds are absolutely insane in this game. So I'm not going to even put myself in a position where, um, you know, I'm giving him three points, basically. Not the greatest punt in the world. Uh, pretty laggy, to be honest, but we'll just see what he can do on offense. We, d we did draft pretty defensive heavy. I think he has the tank ability. So he's going to be able to break any hit sticks that we throw him. But honestly, we don't really hit stick a lot anyway, so it's not that... No, it's not that big of a deal. There we go. Bud Dupree shoots the gap out of that edge blitz. I'm a huge fan of just running edge blitz until somebody proves that they can beat it. He actually just does a standard juke, and our got our user falls to the ground. Um, honestly, super unfortunate for us right there. I did not even think Fournette had the juking threshold. Um, 
should not have been faked out there. Maybe I just can't click off again. The only reason I did click off because I knew it was Fournette and I didn't think he had the juke threshold. That's honestly just my fault not knowing that. Um, unfortunate that we did get faked out right there, but that just means we have to go get seven now. Ah, right there. We have it, man. So easily, and our tight end misses the block. We would have scored a touchdown. Honestly, a super, super poor block from our tight end right there. Really would have loved to get that right there. Uh, we're struggling a bit on offense, man. He's playing really good defense. I did not expect him to be, you know, this good. Right there, we get a really, really nice tight end post route. Eric Ebron, please get into the end zone, bro. Oh my goodness, unfortunately we don't get in. Right here, we're just gonna try to pound it in the end zone. There we go, Lamar Miller scores a touchdown. We're now tied seven to seven. Uh, Ebron was running so slow there, man. I was really worried I was not gonna be able to get in the end zone there, but unfortunately he doesn't have any goal on D. And we're tied up seven to seven, man. We gotta get a stop now. Got him in a situation where he most likely has to pass. He no huddles eye for him. A little bit of a questionable call, I can't lie. I'm kind of curious to see what he goes to here. I would be pretty shocked if he passed out of this. Uh, the only play I can really think of is the trail play. Oh my goodness. Ah, our 94 speed Chat Griffin gets burned by Marquise Brown, who has like no beat press. Unfortunate, super unfortunate, honestly. I think we might just have to shade up from now on. Just no huddling it here. Make a good tackle. All right, we got to hold a three now. Really did not think Shaq Griffin, you know, I drafted him pretty high. He has good press, really good speed, good height. Honestly, just gets cooked by a receiver with no beat press. Super unfortunate. I'm just going to have to start to start to shade up. That way we don't get burned over the top anymore. Ah, I think he was throwing us a pick right there. It looked like he was about to throw to Marquise Brown. So he's about to kick from the 39. I think most kickers can kick from here. He has Hecker at kicker. I did not even know that was possible. That's actually super, super weird. I feel like, shouldn't there be a penalty for using a punter or a kicker in this game? Like, uh, like a kick accuracy penalty or something? I guess, oh, there is. There actually is a penalty. <laughs> As you can see right there, he kicks like 10 yards. I was say I was just about to say, man. Like, there's no, there's actually no way that that's <laughs> that he's able to kick with a puncher. Um, I, I don't know how he doesn't know that. You know, like, <laughs> I'll take it, man. I'll take it. We do get our stop there, and we're at midfield, which is super, super nice. Right there, just gives us our hits again. So great for us taking this to the two minute warning i think we're four for four for 107 so we're actually playing you know pretty well got to play a little bit better defense and then uh i think we're gonna get things sorted out in the second half it took me a little bit by surprise how you know how competent he was in this game so we got to just lock in and, and try to win this game okay right there i ran that dive last time and it didn't get blown up and then that time it did so maybe he just flipped it or something Right there, maneuver around him, and of course, we get tackled by Derwin himself. Oh, man, we almost had it. We almost, almost, almost had it. I think if we get that block, we actually do, in fact, score a touchdown, but a uh, great block shed by Derwin himself. And we're in a situation I don't really like to be in, man, because if I get shot here, I'm going to feel the need to go for it. We're just going to quick snap dive and see if we can get it off in time. I accidentally, ran, I accidentally passed the ball. Oh my god, such a mental mistake for me. I, I was trying to quick snap as fast as possible because I saw him setting up his defense. And unfortunately, we were in PA spot instead of dive. I thought we were in dive. We still had it open. I was just spamming A. 
but A, unfortunately, was not on the field. It was actually X. Ah, oh, that was so bad for me, man. That's just honestly such a rookie mistake, and as someone who plays the game as much as I play it, I just can't make mistakes like that. It's really bad. Ah, uh, he had some really good sheds off the side, man. I didn't want to take my three. You know, I said that the play before, that if we get stopped, that I was going to go for it. He comes out in goal line to match us, and I thought I had a play that I liked against that set, but unfortunately, we do just get shedded, and our own line is pretty bad. He, uh, he is snapping the ball so, so fast right now. This is actually insane. Oh, we're going to give up points because he's literally just quick snapping me, man. Literally just running the line and pressing the button. I got I to gotta adjust faster right here. I, my my buttons are lagging and everything. This is tough. All right, there we go. We're adjusted now. Everything's completely bagged, and we sack him. I think he was throwing a pick right there. Honestly, pretty lucky that he didn't. Uh... I'm going to call time out here. My buttons are lagging so bad, man, that I can't get my adjustments off for whatever reason, and I don't want to give up any easy plays. So what we're going to do is just take our time out here, come out and cover four, and just make him dot us. You know, there, He doesn't have any timeouts left, so... We're in a pretty good spot here. Don't need to push anything or get too aggressive. Just play our cover four, back everything up, and uh, and make sure we go into half dive. Where is this dude doing? Hold on, bro. Where is this dude going? There we go. Calais. Jerry. Come on. We got to get there. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. Go down. Oh, my God. Bro. No! Oh my gosh, of course it's our absolute slowest linebacker with just no moves. We do have 8 mile an hour win though, so we still might be able to make this with Jake Elliott. Let's see if we can do it, man. We gotta kick it perfectly. And we do in fact kick it perfectly. Will we make it with ease? Let's go, man. Up 10-7. to 7. I tried to swerve him. I should have just ran to the sideline and then gotten as close as possible. I honestly got super lucky that there was wind right there. My, it was just my mistake. I I was kind of thinking I had a faster player. I just had my slowest linebacker with like 85 speed. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get seven there. And I got to try to get a little bit too sticky on him with a player who just doesn't have that ability to make people miss. But Jake Elliott bails us out, man, and gets us three before half. So now we're up 10-7. He does get ball, though. So if we get a stop here, man, I really, really like our chances of winning this game. Been snapping, snapping. There we go. We got everything locked up. He throws us up. Bro. We literally lurked it perfectly. He threw it right to us and caught it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was our stop, man. He got super, super lucky. Oh, my God. I cannot believe he just threw that. I hate this no huddle thing, too. It's it's making it, the buttons are delayed. I just have to adjust so, so fast, man. It's killing me. Oh my god. Oh, we're down four we're down fourteen to ten now, man. Oh cut inside! Get out of there, Freeman! Don't get caught! Don't get caught! Let's go! Freeman to the crib, baby! I had a lane and my guy almost sabotaged it by bumping me off my lane. We do get the huge touchdown. That's a great way to answer right there. We're up 17-14, man. I know he's going to throw us one. We just got to be able to catch it, get our stop, get points, win the game. Let's go, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pick it up. Darren Lee. Let's go, man. Come on. Let's go, baby. All right, now the floodgates are starting to open a little bit. He's gonna have to. Be, he's gonna be forced to pass now. He's not gonna be able to run as much as he would like to. And I think this is where we can really pile on the points, build up this XP for our players, and get them the upgrades they need. He's going right back to this stretch. He's going to the left this time. Okay. Good tackle. Let's go. Let's go. Twenty-two. Getting in the way. Didn't make the tackle, but he made a really, really nice effort right there. Could maybe quick snap a pass here, maybe like a slant or something. He doesn't really have the best receivers ever. The only thing I'm really worried about is maybe a streak to Marquise Brown. So I just got to be, I got to watch over top. I'm going to pass commit here, and we just got to watch over top. I think he has Curtis Samuel over there on the right. So he's not going to have the greatest route running or press by any means. And I do have pretty good corners, so I'm not too worried about him. The only person I really am worried about is Marquise Brown. Actually beats me to the inside. That's the one place I felt like I just couldn't get beat right there. 
Probably another stretch here if I had to guess. Shaq Griffin, let's go, man. Way to seal the edge right there, and then we clean him up with our user. Man, he loves this no huddle. This is super toxic. Holy smokes. And he's using a custom. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about getting burned over top here. Just watch for the stretch. Clean him up. Let's go, man. All this guy's going to be super tired because all he does is literally no huddle on every play. Yes, sir. William Jackson. Just like I said, man, if it's not Marquise, Go Marquise Brown, I'm not. I don't know why I keep saying Marquise Goodwin. I'm just used to playing with the 49ers and guys. But again, I said if it's not Marquise Brown, I'm not worried about it, man. So we get a really, really nice stop there with William Jackson clicking on for the pick. I could have gone more conservative with the swap, but I'm up two possessions. I want to keep that two possession lead. So I'm going to go ahead, risk it, and see if I can uh, go ahead and get that pick. And it, it ended up paying, paying off for us, man. Right there, Juju. Oh, he gets such a bad rack animation. I think I need to throw him the ball like five times. I mean, if he's not open, I'm not going to force it, obviously. Like, we'll take our, we'll take our touchdown with Perriman, get that XP. He's just getting super aggressive with the strips and everything right now. I'm going to shade over top here so we don't get burned. Wow, he threw a lurk right to us. No animation. That's what happens when you use a very low overall player. You're not going to get those great animations. Right, I'm going to send eight here. I'm going to send eight. And I'm going to press and shade inside. Yes, sir. Just like I said, man, send eight. Shade inside. Make him make a read, man. He, he accidentally no huddled. To, uh, to spike, so he had to waste another timeout, which is great for us, because now even if he does score here, we're still in a really, really good position. He's actually gonna go ahead and punt the football, ahead and pass the football here. He's gonna send the whole crib at us, so we're just gonna block everybody. Great touch by there, by Juju, a great throw. Again, he's just kind of running around with his user, getting, I think, just way too aggressive with it. Wasn't really guarding anything. We only had two routes in the field because I knew he was going to blitz everybody. Break it off to the side. Ooh, let's go. Lamar Miller is going to get his touchdown. That's actually huge for us because I didn't. I wasn't sure we are going to be able to get him his 12 touches. I should have ran with him a little bit at the start. Making some great tackles here, man. It, if you guys notice, the difference between... The, like early in the game when I was giving this up and now as I'm kind of sitting closer to the line with my user standing these gaps so my guys come free as you can see there again oh my oh my goodness oh my goodness this dude this dude Leonard Fournette is an absolute beast wow what what an insane touchdown right there I think we had a guy steal the edge I think he broke that tackle tr broke another tackle fake someone out and then scored that was actually insane Holy smokes, this dude Fournette isn't a beast. I wish I had a running back like that, man. I really, I'm really regretting. Uh, Lamar Miller, I can't really say. Lamar Miller and Freeman have been good for me. They just don't really have that breakaway speed or that, you know, they don't have any abilities like Fournette does to make those huge plays. Oh my goodness. All right. So he's actually only down two possessions now because of that two point conversion. I did not think that should have been caught. He's down 16, which would mean he needs two two point conversions and he's onside kicking. I should have waited to call mine. My play before he picked his. Oh my goodness. They actually give it to him too. Somehow it's 10 yards. Wow. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. This is this is a tough spot to be in, man. I can't lie. Oh, I really wanted the ball back too to get Juju some more touches. All right, he's passing. He's passing. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. He doesn't have a lot of time. There is runoff on all Madden difficulty. So he doesn't have a lot of time. Unless he breaks a run right here, he's probably in a really tough spot, to be honest. William Jackson again. William Jackson is too good, man. Literally too good. Saves us the game. I, I just, I've not played well in this game. I cannot lie. I really have not played well. I should be playing better. I really haven't played smart. Um, you know, I gave up some easy touchdowns. I gave up a huge bomb to Marquise Brown. I didn't come out in onside recovery. Just honestly, some small mistakes from me. Some small mental mistakes that I do have to fix if I do want to go further in this league. Juju, there it is. Juju having a game for us, man. Playing really, really well. 
playing really, really well for us. See if we can get one more playoff. There's Juju making a play for us. Let's go, man. Not going to call a timeout and try to even score. It's just disrespectful. So I will just end the game right there. And it was a little, you know, I was a little nervous at first, I can't lie, when he took that lead. Um, but we did, in fact, make some great plays there. It started heating up towards the end of the first half. And then second half, it was just pure domination, man. William Jackson, player of the game, in my opinion. He made two huge interceptions for us on plays where it looks like he may have had a step. So William Jackson comes up huge, man. I was definitely, a lot of people, I streamed my draft on Twitch. A lot of people were questioning my pick with William Jackson. It obviously pays off here for us. We win a great game, man. So GG, GG to Derwin, man. Had a lot of fun playing that game. We do start off 4-0. We do have a bye week as well. So we're going to be going into week six undefeated, man. Going to try to win this league. And if you guys want more of these videos, more CFM videos, please drop a like below and let me know in the comments as well. And a frustrated receiver. Let's see what Juju has to say. You know, I was hoping to have a bigger game, but hey, we won. Um... I thought he would. I thought we got him enough touches. I feel like we passed it. I feel like we got at least five completions to him. I'm honestly not sure, but the morale goes up, so you know I can't complain too much. And then Lamar Miller, we should have satisfied those requests as well. Not a bad game, a. Yes, sir. Lamar Miller with the huge touchdown run for us, 500 XP as well, plus five morale. So that's great for us, man. Really a perfect scenario in that game. Let's see if we have any upgrades. No upgrades, actually. Kind of surprising, but again, we are. Four and O oh, heading into the bye week. I'll show you guys a couple people who are in this league as well. Some pro players, some NFL players. We have Jay Bird, D Croft, Radiant, who is a 2K pro. Uh, we have Justin, Oreo, um, Fancy, Derwin. We also have Ice, Kratobin, Civil, DNA Canes, Mo, another 2K player here in Shump, the King. Uh, Saya and DJ as well. So some really, really great players in this league, man. Um, some NFL players on some other creeps as well. But we played really well, man. Super, super happy about the way that game unfolded. If you guys want to go ahead and see more of these videos in the future, please drop me a like and comment below that you want more of these. And I'll continue to upload more CFM games where I kind of, at the same time, also talk you guys through what I'm thinking during the game. So hopefully you guys can learn and enjoy it at the same time. But again, I hope you guys have a great day, man.